Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, for those of you who in the past may have wanted to be Tiger Woods, remember that commercial where everyone got up and said, I am Tiger Woods, I am Tiger Woods. Are you saying today you are Tiger Woods? Because if you are Tiger Woods, this was your day. First of all, it started with you issuing a statement that among other things, you were sorry for transgressions that essentially hurt your family because in the last week you had an argument, allegedly had an argument with your wife over an alleged affair. So here's where things get a little weird. I mean, first one case, maybe after the argument, you uh, ran away, got in your car and uh, okay, hit something and she came out and well, rescued you or she came out and totally clocked you so that now that you're back together, you look like this. Oh, something. No one exactly knows for sure what happened. Everything seems to point in the direction of her smashing out the windows. Okay, so, well, through the week, you go through the week and you discover, hey, I don't want to tell this story to the Florida State Troopers or the State the, uh, Highway Patrol. Maybe they'll go away. Maybe they'll leave me alone like the Windmere Idlewild police did. Not happening. <laughs> Meanwhile, your friends are leaking stories basically saying that, hey, your, your wife kicked your butt because she was angry that you were fooling around, or at least there were stories that you were fooling around. So here we come on Monday. Finally, the Florida State Troopers and the Highway Patrol say, you know what? We're not going to go see criminal charges. We're just going to charge you $164 for basically reckless driving, okay? That's a drop in the bucket for Tiger Woods. It's like chipping a penny. Why not? Tuesday comes along, and all of a sudden, boom, a woman surfaces by the name of Jamie Grubbs and Jamie Grubbs has a rather grubby story to tell claiming that she had sex with you 20 times going all the way back to 2007 and she's got text to prove it. The text doesn't really mean anything because uh, there's no way to tie you to it. But then here comes today, Wednesday, and she along with the help of U.S. Weekly, which reportedly paid her $150,000 for the information, making her set for at least the next year or two, comes out with not just the text, but a voicemail. This voicemail. Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. I need you to do me a huge favor. Um, can you please... Uh Take your name off your phone. My wife went to my phone and uh, may be calling you. So if you can, please take your name off that. And um, because, just have it as a number on the voicemail. Just have it as your telephone number. Okay, you gotta do this for me. Dude, quickly. All right, bye. Okay, so that's your day. If you say, I am Tiger Woods, then that's your Tiger Woods day and week. How do you feel right now? All right, that aside, enough of the fooling around. Let's get down to business here. Tiger should have come out and just simply explained from the start exactly what happened. As uncomfortable as it would have been for him to do so on Saturday, that's what he should have done. But now that he's rolled all this information out, eked it out in little bitty bits over time over a period of days along with what his friends have been saying and everything else. Well, you know, the problem is that it the little open the door cracking that door makes you want to look in and get more information You're always wondering okay we've got rachel uchitel who said was originally the person that was linked with tiger who said that she's not involved in an affair with him and got oh, time out now there's a report that tiger woods reportedly paid for Rachel Uchitel's trip to Australia. Ah, the beat goes on. We're all read the famous defense attorney to uh, represent her. And then Jamie Grubbs, who is a cocktail waitress and model who apparently did some work with Blue Sky Vodka modeling. And we have now another one, Kalita Mokin, uh, a person that was described on the CBS Evening News, or so, excuse me, it was not the CBS Evening News, it was Inside Edition, as one of the most influential people in Las Vegas. Not a bad choice. What does she do? She's a marketing manager at the Bank Nightclub at Bellagio. So that's uh, no small thing there. She's a pretty big doer. But in fairness to Rachel Uchtel, she is as well. She's not the party girl that 
Inside Edition is trying to paint her as. Rachel Uchitel is also a manager who set up, helped set up the Dow chain of nightclubs starting in Las Vegas and around the country. So she's no small potatoes either. In fact, the vast majority of truth here is that the women that we're talking about um, have all been involved, in some way involved in the nightclub entertainment industry, which gives you a window into Tiger's other life. He says that all, oh, you know, life with his wife at home is basically boring. All they do is rent movies. But then there's that other life, the life of the swanky nightclubs and the beautiful women when he's away from home that apparently, just adding all this up, he's been involved in for some time. So he's not really giving us a picture of the entire story, but what's going on is that this picture is of all these interconnected developments. For example, Rachel Uchitel and then her nightclub involvement and then Jamie Grubbs and her nightclub involvement and then Kalina Malkin and her nightclub involvement is starting to put together this kind of pointless painting of of items that fit together to give us a bigger picture into Tiger Woods' other life. Uh, and it's interesting. But it's also interesting to see how the other side lives in that little service industry of people that take care of that other side, the people that work in the nightclubs and the bars and the hotels and, and those industries that still go strong during recessions. All that aside, all right. Now where do we go from here with this? Well, it's fascinating because it's still, as I look at this on Google uh, Trends, it's now eight of the top ten trends today, Wednesday at what time is it? Uh, 5.14, 8.14 Eastern Standard Time, 5.14 Pacific. And I don't think it shows any sign of going south as long as television talks about it, then it's searched for on the internet. And the other search that's being done are for all of these pictures of these women because all these guys want pictures of these hot women. At any rate, look, uh, I really hope so. Tiger Woods gets his act together. None of his sponsors shows any signs of dropping from him, and uh, a lot of those sponsors probably party and know him and have seen him in action and said, I'm not going to you know, kick my brother to the curb there. So I don't see that happening anytime soon. As long as Tiger Woods continues to play great golf, Everyone, including Cadillac, is going to stand right behind him. They'll probably just give him another escalator, even something more expensive. Stay tuned. Oh, and by the way, as far as hot women, Rachel Sklar, you belong right there with all those other women Tiger Woods was allegedly sleeping with. But um, for those of you who don't know Rachel, who Rachel Sklar is, click and you'll find out.